For most people, the phrase ice cream conjures up images of hot summers, melted cones, chunks of banana, hot fudge ice cream, or buying a $99 hat at the local grocery store. Ice cream is the quintessence of old-fashioned treats. The history of this dessert spans the world, with different countries enjoying different versions, such as kofi in India, gelato in Italy, and mochi in Japan. It seems every country has its own way of making the delicious frozen confections we call ice cream. Since the turn of the century and the invention of ice cream cones, growth in global consumption has been phenomenal, with over 12 billion liters of ice cream consumed each year in the United States and China alone. The development of low-fat, organic and dairy-free ice cream is changing the production landscape. Ice cream manufacturers, in turn, strive to maximize the nutritional value of the products they sell. The production of ice cream consists of mixing the ingredients and then pasteurizing them. It is then homogenized in a process that allows the fat to be broken down into as many individual small fat globules as possible. After homogenization, cooling and aging take place. The dough is left to mature for 4 to 24 hours, during which time all the dry ingredients are hydrated and the fat crystallizes. The product is then frozen in a continuous freezer and air injection takes place. When the ice leaves the permafreeze at dash 5C, about 50% of the water is frozen. The final process is hardening, where most of the water freezes at minus 40 degrees Celsius. Ice cream is a complex product. Ice cream milk contains milk fat and other ingredients such as proteins and carbohydrates. Sweeteners, flavorings, emulsifiers and stabilizers are added during processing to improve taste, texture, or appearance. Ice cream contains more than 50% water, which comes from milk or other ingredients. Air is introduced into the product, the air cells being precisely distributed and protected by a layer of fat globules. First, what we need. Production requirements include Dry storage of ingredients and packaging Mixing tank Pasteurizer Freezer for ice cream Packaging machine Freezer Freezer store Second, what are the ingredients? Fats, dairy or vegetable Fats provide flavor, texture and texture the type and fat content of the ice cream are used to classify each product according to specific regulations. Milk ice cream must contain at least 5% milk fat and must not contain any other fat. The ice must contain at least 5 quintals, however, it could be vegetable shortening. The most commonly used types of vegetable fats are coconut oil, palm oil, and palm kernel oil, or a combination of these. Non-fat milk solids Non-fat milk solids include proteins, whey and casein, lactose, and minerals. The proteins contribute to the structure of the ice cream and to the incorporation of air during processing. Ice cream must contain a minimum of 2.5% milk protein. Lactose contributes to the sweetness and minerals are derived from the milk or cream used in production. Sugars and sweeteners. Sugar is added to impart sweetness and enhance texture. A combination of sugars, e.g. sucrose, glucose, fructose, is commonly used to achieve the desired sweetness of the end product. 
sugar controls the amount of water frozen in the ice cream and therefore the sweetness of the end product. Sweeteners are also approved for use in the manufacture of ice cream and are commonly used in low-calorie products. Flavors and Colors Flavors and colors are added to almost all ice cream to enhance the product's appearance and taste, but these flavors and colors may be of natural origin. Emulsifiers and Stabilizers Emulsifiers help bind all ingredients during the manufacturing process and improve the quality of the foam when mixed. Stabilizers improve air intake. They have a positive effect on the structure and texture of the ice cream and contribute to the softness and melting of the finished product.